Also tonight, a wild sight on I-95, an SUV falling over the edge of an overpass. People still inside when it hit the ground, and it would take a team effort to get them out miraculously. Everyone out of that frightening fall surviving. The question now is, how did it happen? We spoke exclusively to a woman who watched it all unfold. A crushed car lifted off a fence on a downtown Miami street Saturday. Witnesses say it flipped off the I-95 South overpass onto West Flagler Street around 3.30 in the afternoon. Drivers passing by recording with their cell phones as people rushed to help. Y'all, them people just came from up there, bro, and everybody made it out the car alive. Mariah Lewis says she and her young daughter stopped to help, too. I opened my glove box. I went to looking because I knew I had something sharp. Thankfully, she had a knife. They were pulling them out of the car. I had to give hand my daughter the a knife that I had in my car so that they were able to cut the victims out of their seatbelt. Lewis says two people got out of the car, appearing to be okay as they walked around. It's just by the grace of God that the people live because it, I, I don't understand how you fall from that high. And you walk, he literally got out of his, he was walking when he got out of the car. They didn't have to drag him out. Soon, police officers and firefighters flooded the area to close down the surrounding streets. Those streets reopened around 6 in the evening. Lewis and her family saying they were touched by the entire ordeal. It was bad, but it could have been worse. I was just telling my daughter, like, I'm so grateful. You have to be grateful for life. Miami Fire Rescue Crew say the man who was pulled out of that SUV went to the hospital to be checked out. Florida Highway Patrol is investigating what caused the vehicle to fall off the overpass.